we get taught a little bit about the Nordic mythology in the school. Steel axes were an important superstition. Thrown axe could be keeping off a hailstorm, placed in the crops with a cutting edge up to the skies would protect the harvest from bad weather. An upright axe burned under the sill of a house would keep off the witches. Yeah, that's kind of up my alley. Sweden is more like a very natural habitat. We cannot keep to ourselves. The Oversley is going to be absolutely amazing for many reasons. Revolutionary in a way. It's going to set a complete new standard on, on how esports is going to work. I kind of knew from the start that there was something with me and with Overwatch that just kind of clicked. I was going to be a part of the elite. Your playstyle is what identifies you as a unique character within the scene. If someone caters to the aggressive part, they, they could sometimes refer to me for sure. Aim, reflexes, anything above positioning is kind of expected from you. Either you have very sick positioning or you don't. That's what differs players from players at this level. I've heard many times people consider me the best. I've, I've heard many times that Eska or, or Taimu. But at the end of the day, you will not stand a chance against a synchronized team. Esports in general comes down to your ability to develop these skills and to enhance yourself to become even better. The league is what everyone is striving for at this point. It can get as massive as possible. Obviously there are rivals, uh, there are people I suspect to be on equal footing. The, the competition and to be on top and to win it all is literally what's driving you forward. You can never go into a game with the mindset that you're weaker than your opponents. That would never work. You obviously respect your opponents, but in your own mind, you're the best. I sold my soul to play Overwatch, that's for sure.